YouTube. What is up? This is Come to Japan, the channel that wants you to come to Japan. My name is Dan. Thanks again for joining me on another episode. Before we jump into the episode, I always talk about our mission, our goal with the Come to Japan community on this channel. But our goal, our mission is to grow large enough so that this channel can sponsor free trips for subscribers. We're going to give away free trips to as many people as possible that join the Come to Japan community. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's jump in and check out my fish. So let's get some close up views of this duckweed pond. So here we are, everybody. You can see the duckweed. There is the duckweed. And a lot of people, the internet is very divided on duckweed. There's a lot of people that really like the duckweed. There's a lot of people that really don't like it. Um, and for a couple different reasons. There's my meducka swimming around in there. And I will say these guys love it. You can see the little baby fish. The baby fish love, love the duckweed because it provides some safety for them. You can see one swimming around there, some baby fish. So they are floating plants and um, they really help, really help this little pond survive because my balcony here, we're just on my balcony and we'll give you a quick, quick view from my balcony. Beautiful view from my balcony here in Japan. That is Sarakura. So my balcony, not amazing, so beautiful. Okay, well anyway, my balcony here gets a lot, a lot of sun. And sun with standing water means algae. It's lots and lots of algae. There's another setup. But what this does, what this duckweed does, is it blocks a lot of the light getting down into the water, um, creating the algae and whatnot. So it really, um, keeps keeps algae down and a lot less maintenance and also it absorbs a lot of the nitrates from the fish poo from the fish poo so again in my ponds all of my ponds here i have one two that's a little breeder pot uh three four four and i actually have one more one more little guy over here and this, this is my little project here but I found this piece of driftwood and I have a little few baby mandakas in there I don't know if you oh there's one right there a couple little baby, baby mandakas and some snails this is just an old olive jar that I have a water hyacinth in so again I have absolutely zero aerator zero filters another quick view from the balcony look at those clouds over there Beautiful, beautiful. Anyway, no aerators, no filters whatsoever. It's all up to the plants to um, take care of everything here. I set this guy up recently, um, switched out a few plants and whatnot. I took the water coins out. I kind of cut this guy down a little bit. He was going nuts and whatnot, but a bunch of little baby fish in there. A little baby blue medaka in there but anyway back to this back to this uh, pond right here because this is what I want to feature um, this pond is thriving you can see a lot of the baby medaka here um, those are the, the grown-ups right there these are the grown medaka and you can see the little spawn right there and normally medaka will eat will eat um, their spawn um, so you have to separate them out But I got really lucky in that the duckweed um, Here we'll pull some out Pull a little scoop out So there's the duckweed And this is what I think one of the reasons why Most people don't You know People who keep Come on focus here Focus focus Come on focus for me uh, There it is There's the focus there so it has these really fine little root structures that you can see right there that kind of uh, hang down. So the larger medaka 
they don't necessarily have a hard time swimming through it. They just don't swim through it as well as the baby Maidaka. So it provides a little bit of shelter. But this is one of the reasons why people um, don't tend to like duckweed in aquariums because it reproduces very, very fast and it sticks to almost anything. Watch. So I'm going to clean my fingers off here. And once it's, it's one of those things where when you get duckweed, you've got duckweed. Um, it is very hard to eradicate. Um, you have to basically like, you know, get rid of the entire setup and, um, make sure you get everything out. Even right here. Do you see this right here? This is dried duckweed. And apparently even this dried out brown duckweed right here, let's try to zoom in on it. This, when it gets wet and exposed to water again, it will actually grow back into this. But yeah, a lot of people, they don't like it because it's pretty high maintenance and, and especially in um, tanks that have aerators and filters and stuff like that, it will just clog up the filters and whatnot. So it's very, um, reproduces very quickly and about every two days or so this thing will be covered and the reason why i have this little float ring and i just made this out of some air tubing and, and uh just kind of hot glued that there so it'll float there i put this one on there so that there's some space so that i can feed the fish so that they can actually come up and get get um food and uh, i can actually view them because this will within a matter of days two three days will be covered over with the duckweed so uh again i really like it i think it looks great and i can definitely tell that the fish love it too um, because a lot of babies a lot of baby medaka are sprouting up and whatnot so and i think it looks really cool another thing too is i make my own compost uh, my own fertilizer and whatnot so basically all i do is i just scoop this stuff off and this is my fancy fancy maintenance tool for duckweed um, basically all I'll do is just go in here and shoop, scoop some out yep, scoop it out um, and then I just put it in beautiful color right beautiful green green color focus there um, I, I think it looks very beautiful there's another good look at the root structure and they're just um, uh, hanging down kind of floating root structures and whatnot uh, and I'll just uh, dump this into my fertilizer and it really makes my fertilizer good uh, my compost um, yeah so I just scoop this out I will probably scoop out almost all of it um, I would say I probably scoop out ooh, a good 70% of it as much as I can get out uh, this I scooped out about three days ago um, and I leave most of it kind of around this mangrove. I leave it in this back corner and then this water lily, there's actually a pot down there. So I just leave those two areas right there. And within two or three days, it will grow back to all of this. So that's one of the reasons why people, you know, that don't like duckweed really don't like duckweeds because it reproduces really quickly and can get clogged in, um, filters and stuff like that but for me I like it I really really like it and I'm gonna keep this set up this way because the fish love it I think it looks cool and whatnot so if again if you're gonna go into duckweed just know that it reproduces really quickly and it's probably not the best for any filtered tanks or stuff that it can get sucked up into so these are my Pure blue Maidaka, and they're thriving in it. They love it. And also they can, um, I've heard that they can actually eat a little bit of the roots, especially for the babies and whatnot. Okay, so we are gonna stick a GoPro in here so we can get a little bit of underwater footage of the duckweed pond. And also just to see uh, what the fish are up to. I think it's gonna look really cool. I saw another uh, YouTuber uh, do that and I thought it was really neat, so I wanted to give it a shot.
everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video and checking out my uh, duckweed meidaka pond. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. I always, I always love making these videos and hanging out with my fish and uh, seeing how they kind of evolve. Um, I'll try to put in a picture of what uh, it looked like with no duckweed and how it looks now. And I don't know, I like this much better. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think of my Minaka pond. Yeah, it's cool, you know? It's a cool fish. Yeah. You see it over there? Yeah, it's cute. It's cute, dog. Oh, don't that. It's a cute fish. Please consider subscribing because it definitely helps our channel grow and spreads our uh, positivity and our mission, our goal of one day sponsoring free trips to Japan for as many subscribers as possible. Thanks again, guys. Matane. Bye-bye.